Alrighty, welcome to uh, number 10, oh, sorry, number 12 of Asterism. Um, this one is called, uh, Asterism is a uh, archaic punctuation inspired book of prose poetry that I wrote. Um, if you want to read through it, you can read through it on my account. If you want to see more of these, you can see them on my account. Uh, you can read them for yourself. I just thought it'd be fun to read them to you because, I don't know, I like reading. Um, an irony point which is what piece 12 is, uh, is used to alert readers to a double meaning of the text. It can also be used to indicate a potential hidden subtext or a secondary slash allegorical intention. It is used to give readers a better sense of dramatic irony without the author like having to directly tell you what's going on. <sighs> you would often call me funny when I smiled at you as if the ease I offered your presence was comedic or meant for humor. Maybe as if I made you laugh. <laughs> I always believed it was the second until I realized it was the first. A hidden humor in yourself, a cruelty as you dragged me onwards and backwards and spun me in circles that you called progression. It was quite funny how I just so desperately believed you. Yes, you would call me funny as I'd style my hair. Up or down, I'd ask you and you'd laugh. I thought you laughed because you had no answer or thought I was, I'd look pretty either way, but... You'd always, you'd always collect yourself a moment later and glance at me before providing a clear decision. I was always a bit confused then as to why your eyes had become so cold and your answer so direct as if the question itself was stupidity exemplified. All of my friends knew what you were doing. Oh, sorry. All my friends knew what you were bad. They knew what you were doing. All of them knew and were waiting for me to learn. That's such a painful truth. You had turned me into a punchline. Everyone else understood when you called me funny, it was like a show you'd watch. A clown in a Shakespeare play, a misshapen grave digger that follows the protagonist's train of thought all too well. When it follows the protagonist that you made yourself in my story. A role that I gave you as you turned my comedy into a cause for catharsis. As you turned love into a greater force to resist, you would often call me funny. And you're not only the word for me, praise I once held dear, but you also ruined my love of mystery novels and horror movies. I can no longer stand the dramatic irony. I'm not even really fully sure if I can totally believe you loved me. Maybe that's the realization I needed to set myself free, but in a strange way, I'm honored to be someone you felt a necessity to drag along, to be something that's missed when it's gone, the person you go to when something's wrong. I... I hope I'm not playing into the joke, but if I'm the joke, how can I not be? More than that, how could you make a joke of me? 